Hello YouTube, this is Stefan from Holland again. As I mentioned in the earlier video about the survival knives, there's a difference between survival and bushcraft. Survival for me means getting out of a bad situation because it's life threatening. And bushcraft is getting into a situation because you really like it. So I do require different knives for both uh, tasks. So let's talk about my bushcraft knives for a bit. Of course, still again, the Mora. It's really great for kitchen work, wood carving, etc. etc. But, but maybe not so good for batoning. It's a good slicer though. But I really like a bigger, a thicker spine for heavy use. Of course, I couldn't resist the Spyderco bushcraft knife. The handle not stabilized. I did some work on it, still have to polish the handle, but it's a really nice knife. It's about three and a half millimeters thick spine, 01 steel. I've seen people use it because this one is just for my collection. I've seen people use it and it seems to be a really good cutter. Also comes with a very good sheet to carry the knife. Just recently I purchased an Enzo straight from Finland. This one is D2 steel. It's also three and a half millimeter thick. And it's got the uh, what is it wild olive handle. I really like this one. It's a dangler sheet and I already explained that I like the dangler sheets. So I think I'm going to order some more Enzo. The only thing I miss is the lanyard hole, just for use when you're on the water in a canoe or whatever. Because I normally don't use a lanyard, but just when I'm in snowy conditions or watery conditions. So I ordered also a blank in a one steel with uh, orange G10 scales. But of course I have to build it myself for the rest, so it will, there will be a lanyard hole in that one. Um, well, you probably know the BNWC, Bushcraft Northwest, now BCNW1 model. It's 4 mm thick, a 1 steel. It's a rather good bushcrafter. I more tend to see this as a, a, a Mora on steroids. A big, comfortable handle. Good grip. No finger guards whatsoever, because I don't like finger cards or too much finger card. I, I think you should be able to control your knife without this. So it's a nice one. It's a bamboo handle. And you've probably seen some tests uh, of this knife on the internet, on YouTube. Also comes with good leather for carrying. Then my normally normal bushcraft user is this one. It's 4 mm thick O1 steel. Uh, the blade was made by Bernie Garland in the UK. And some Dutch guy I know, he made a wooden handle for it. And of course I reshaped the wooden handle because I want to make it for my hand, for my feeling. And this is the knife I normally use bushcrafting. Of course together with the Mora because I, I won't leave the Mora at home. I always take it with me more for kitchen and this one more for the wood carving, wood splitting etc. The, the more heavier tasks. Of course all these are scandy grind knives. And also by Bernie Garland a woody clone. This one is 5 mm thick. It's a very nice handle also. Very sturdy knife. Got a patina on it. Just one disappointment. The sheet, well made sheet by the way, is for left handers. And I'm right handed. 
So I have to find a solution for this one. Probably have another sheet made or keep this one just in my collection. Oh, by the way, the sheet for the, the one I'm using is also a very tight fit. Also a dangler system and a loop for the fire steel and the big fire steel it will fit very tight won't lose it so it's a very good one this one it's a nice user okay the last one i purchased is the only one that's not scanning grind but a flat grind with a secondary bevel i bought it it's made by a guy a dutch guy called sander uh, it's a special steel, I forgot about the name. What I really like is the very thick spine of 6 millimeters. Uh, I purchased it as, as a neck knife, but it's a bit too heavy for around your neck, I guess. So I really have to find uh, a meaning for this knife, other than, of course, my collection. So, why? Do I choose this candy grind instead of the convex? As I told you, the F F1, very good, very sturdy knife, convex grind. A bit more difficult to shape in the field. Well, at least for me. And with this candy grind, you have a certain angle. If you have just a stone or maybe a pebble or whatever, Especially the O1 steel, you can sharpen it on anything. Actually, uh, it doesn't ma matter if you have a if you are putting a secondary bevel on it, because it's easy to do to make a secondary bevel. And then when you're at home and you have all your sharpening equipment with you, you can restyle it to a full candy grind. And with the, with the convex grind, it's more difficult because if you lose the angle, it's very difficult to to sharpen. So, for bushcraft, it's candy grind, thick spine, heavy knife, and for survival, the falcon even, convex grind. So, I hope you enjoyed. Of course, any comments uh, are welcome, any requests are welcome also. Okay, bye bye from Holland.